Lauren. I want to talk you through Chaturanga. Um, so if you have, or definitely just grab a belt if you don't have a strap. Um, something that you can secure quite tightly that will hold if you pull against it. And then grabbing either blocks, books, um, anything that is sort of the size of your forearm. Um, if you have three of those, that would be cool. Otherwise, you can just use one and that's also absolutely fine. Um, so with Chaturanga, the biggest problem, especially with our vinyasa flow, is that people don't have good alignments. They don't have the strength to do it. So first, I'm going to talk you through the three different variations of Chaturanga to build your strength up to your full Chaturanga. Um, and then I'm going to talk to you about alignment and rotator cuff help. Um, so firstly, a bad chaturanga will look something like this. They either sort of collapse through the shoulders and then they kind of drop down with the shoulders below the elbows. Um, that really puts a lot of uh, tension onto the front of the deltoid. Um, the other thing that people do is they they just uh, don't listen. So instead of just dropping their knees and doing a half chaturanga, they would rather try and keep their knees up and shake and put their body under unnecessary stress. So the first option for chaturanga is your knees, chest, chin. Um, a lot of people do battle with this, but it's a fear thing, so they're worried about pushing their weight forward. So just remember that as soon as you lift your sit bones, you're pulling the energy back towards the back of the body, or the, the bums, or the feet, um, and that allows you to take some of the weight off the arms. So knees, chest, chin is literally starting on all fours, your toes can stay flipped under, you're going to lift your sit bones up, take your gaze forward and high. Keep your elbows moving in towards the body. So imagine squeezing your rib cage, and then you're going to drop the chest in between the hands, chest and chin to your mat. So knees, chest, chin. From there, they'll allow you to ripple through into your cobra. <clears throat> so generally, we'll be in our plank teacher will move into chaturanga knees chest chin so you'll drop your knees down lift your bum up drop your chest between your hands chest and chin to mat and then of course you'll ripple through into your cobra pushing back into the down dog so that's your general vinyasa the next option will be to move forward into plank inhale keeping your plank so nice straight back keep your tailbone tucked and push up between the shoulders and then move your shoulders back from the ears extend through crown of head then your exhale half to run and drops your knees down to the mat keep a straight back so we're still engaged into our core still pushing up between the shoulder blades breath in on your exhale we drop the chest halfway so the shoulders will now be in line with the elbows bring your weight forward Flip your toes under, pushing into your up dog. Inhale, lift your knees, and moving into down dog on your exhale. So we're gonna do that one more time, coming forward into plank. Inhale, roll. Keep your body exactly as it is. Just drop the knees down, taking half the weight off the arms. Breathe in. And on your exhale, squeeze your elbows in towards your ribs. Keep pushing up between the shoulder blades. Shoulders in line with the elbows, bring your weight forward, and then come through into up. And then we have obviously our full chaturanga. So weight forward, hands underneath your shoulders, push up between the shoulder blades, and then keeping the core tight all the way down. Um, just in case we didn't get that. So we are gonna come into our plank, tuck your tailbone, push up between the shoulder blades, extend crown of head forward, breathe in. And on your exhale, halfway down, squeeze your elbows in towards the midline, weight forward, roll into your heart, keeping the knees lifted into your up dog, inhale, and then perhaps rolling over your toes into your down dog on your exhale. All right, so from here, we are going to try it with a strap. So you're gonna grab your strap, 
or your belt, belt also work really well, anything that has a buckle so you can tighten it, and then you're gonna make it shoulder width. So you'll be able to feel how far it needs to be once you're actually in your plank again. All right, so you need to be able to bring your elbows just next to the body. Ladies, strap shoulder underneath the boobs, so just above the wrists, I mean, sorry, the elbows. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna look like this. From the side, it's gonna look like this. So your chaturanga. So you're gonna pull your arms back, rotate your shoulders back, pull your chest up. So we're creating space. All right. So, when you come into our plank with our strap, you can feel it sometimes needs to be a little bit looser once you're actually pressing down. All right, even a little bit tighter. All right, there we go. Make sure that it's nice and tight so you don't pull out and you're literally going to be supported by your belt or your strap. So breathing in, plank, and the same thing, weight forward, bend your elbows to a 90 degree, once you're on the strap, it takes the weight off, so you can just feel here, roll your shoulders back, pull your chest forward, extend crown of head. When you're ready, coming through into your up dog and your down dog. So playing with that a little bit, inhale, rolling forward, one vertebra lifts at a time. Exhale, your choice, chaturanga. Inhale into your up dog, and exhale into your down dog. So you can do this with your half chaturanga as well, inhaling, dropping the knees down, keep the core tight, rounding through spine, exhale, way forward, half chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Remember just to loosen up the wrists in between, nice big sigh, letting go of any lactic acid that we're building up. All right, and then another one that we can do is Blocks underneath your shoulders and your pubic bone. So if you have like a, I don't know what else is the size, like a buddy bottle, I think would probably be about the size. Just so you can feel the weight if you don't have blocks. Otherwise, just grab some block box. All right, so we are gonna bring one underneath the shoulder. If you have two, that's cool. If you have three, even better. So you're gonna make a little triangle you might need to test it a few times just to get it right. So my hands will be just behind the blocks. I'm just going to test this out to see if it's all right. Yeah. Okay. So basically, you're going to have one block on each of the heads of the shoulders and then one block onto the pubic bone. Hands just behind the blocks, coming into your plank. So the bottom block should be just in front of the pubic bone because remember we're going to pull our way forward. Inhaling. And on your exhale, bend your elbows back, squeeze your ribs. Once you're done, pull the shoulders back. Extend crown of head forward. All right, core should still be nice and tight. Maybe pushing back up into plank and then doing it again. All right, so keep playing around with this. It's important not to round into the shoulders as you're going down and create micro tears. Nice release into the wrist. If you haven't done the wrist um, video, I was just doing it before and after every time. Have fun and enjoy your chaturanga play.